During Holy Week, Christians all over the world are remembering the death, past history death and resurrection of Jesus. It's a time of contemplation and appreciation for what Jesus did on the cross. Now the question at hand, was Jesus an insurrectionist? As defined by dictionary.com, an insurrection is an instance or act of rising in re rebellion, revolt or resistance against civil authority or an established government. Can you think of any such people who are insurrectionists in our modern times? I'll give you a moment to think about that. And in thinking about that, what authority do these people really carry? Now in the Bible, as recorded in the four Gospels, we see an actual convicted insurrectionist in the picture, Barabbas. And taking my scripture reading from the book of Luke, chapter 23, verse 18 and 19, it says, But the whole crowd shouted, Away with this man, release Barabbas to us. Now it says, Barabbas had been thrown into prison for an insurrection in the city and for murder. So this was the actual convicted criminal that the enemies of Jesus protested to be released at that moment. But did Jesus ever commit murder? No, in fact, he raised the dead. Did Jesus ever steal? No, in fact, he actually encouraged thieves to steal no more. Did Jesus stir up an uprising? I highly doubt it. Jesus was constantly looking, looking for a way to be away from the crowds. And in fact, he always taught about righteousness and the kingdom of God. So Jesus was definitely not an insurrectionist. And I can think of no valid reason why Jesus should be arrested, convicted or sentenced to imprisonment, let alone death. So what was his crime? In fact, he had none, but he died because he took on each and every one of our crimes, our sins, the wrong things that we do, which are morally wrong, and also the wrong things that we do towards God. On Good Friday, I just want you to remember that the true insurrectionist was let free Barabbas. The true criminals were never convicted, that's you and I. And Jesus took our place. He took the punishment that we deserved and died an unworthy death because of us. If you have never heard of Jesus, or would like to learn more about the life and death of Jesus, I'd encourage you to watch this clip. And after you have done so, and you want to get to know Jesus, and also be what God wants you to be, please repeat after me, Jesus, Thank you for becoming God with us. Thank you for taking on the brokenness of the world off of my shoulder. It's because of your selfless sacrifice that I can now experience eternal life with you. Today I receive your free gift of salvation and I invite you to heal me and to forgive me. I want to spend the rest of my life becoming more like you. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you have just said this prayer and you meant it in your heart, you have just become a Christian. You have received God into your life. I would encourage you to visit the website. Thank you for watching this video clip. I will be super grateful for your support by subscribing to my YouTube channel and also my blog. You'll find the links in the description. You can also find me on social media in the links provided in the description. I look forward to sharing with you again. Until next time, my name is Claudia and this is Intraordinary. Life, faith, travels and more. Take care.